This video demonstrates how to configure a client-to-site VPN using PPTP on Wagia Cloud. Point-to-point -point tunneling is a network protocol used to create a virtual private network over a public network such as the Internet. PPTP features ease of use, wide support for different protocols and devices, and excellent performance. It can be widely used in home networks, labs, and scenarios that require quick VPN deployment. Client-to-site VPNs based on PPTP are commonly used for employees and customers to access the headquarters intranet over the internet, transmit data to the headquarters intranet, and connect to internal servers during business trips. To secure data transmission, a VPN tunnel can be established between the client and the headquarters gateway. The following figure shows the typical topology of a client-to-site VPN. For example, the headquarters gateway establishes a VPN connection with the client through its WAN port with the IP address 172.26.6.190. After a user enters the username and password on the client and is successfully authenticated, the user can access the headquarters server through the VPN tunnel. Visit the official website of Ruachia Cloud, enter your username and password, and click Login. On the home page, click the target project of the headquarters gateway. Then, choose Configuration, Device Config, Gateway, VPN. Click the VPN tab. Click Add VPN Policy to access the Add VPN Policy page. On the page that is displayed, toggle on Enable. Enter a name for the VPN policy in the Remark field. Alternatively, you can use the default name automatically generated based on the selected scenario and VPN mode. Set Purpose to Client-to-Site VPN. Set VPN mode to the actual VPN protocol. In this case, select PPTP. Enter the WAN port IP address or domain name of the headquarters gateway in the server IP slash domain field. The client will use this IP address or domain name to connect to the server. In the local tunnel IP field, enter an IP address for the VPN tunnel. In the IP pool field, Specify the IP address range for the server to assign addresses to clients. The IP address range should not overlap with the local tunnel IP address. Toggle on MPPE to encrypt data transmissions as required. Toggle on flow control for VPN traffic as required. Set the total uplink bandwidth and downlink bandwidth. Set the maximum uplink bandwidth and downlink bandwidth per user. Click Advanced to set advanced parameters. Alternatively, you can use the default settings. Click Add. Click the VPN Account tab. Click Add VPN Account. Enter the username and password in the Username and Password fields. For example, set username to User1 and password to Admin123. Click Add. Next, we use a Windows 10 client as an example to demonstrate how to perform VPN configuration on the client. If you use other clients other than the Windows 10 client, refer to the official configuration guide for instructions. Log in to the client. Access the control panel and click Network and Internet. Click Network and Sharing Center. Click Set up a new connection and network. Click Connect to a workspace. Click Next. Select Use My Internet Connection. In the Internet Address field, enter the WAN port IP address of the headquarters gateway, that is, the value configured in the server IP or domain field on Wagia Cloud. In the Destination Name field, enter a name, such as PPTP Connection, and click Create. Return to the Network and Sharing Center page, and click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click PPTP Connection and choose Properties. Click the Security tab and select Point-to-Point -point Tunneling Protocol from the type of VPN drop-down list box. 
select the supported transmission protocol. In the lower right corner of the client, click Open Network and Internet Settings, select PPTP Connection, and click Connect. Enter the username and password. and click OK. Return to the configuration page on Wagia Cloud and click the VPN Online User tab to view VPN Online Users. If a VPN tunnel between the client and the headquarters gateway is established but the client still failed to access the headquarters gateway, run the route add command on the client to add a static route. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.